traditionally, Tai Chi is taught as a, a series of rather difficult movements, coupled to breathing, deep breathing patterns, and mental concentration. So traditionally, it's taught over like a year's time when people have to memorize like 108 different movements. You can learn 108 movements for the cultural aspect, but if you want to just improve your mind-body health, perhaps you can do just one movement repetitively 108 times. So that's what we call science-based Tai Chi. In terms of improving your overall blood flow, calming yourself down, decreasing stress, then you don't want to like run as fast as you can or lift as much weight as you can because those things actually activate your fight and flight response. Doing Tai Chi uh, would calm you down, get your overall blood flow going uh, much better than if you do these more vigorous physical exercises. Research on animal, model, animal models have shown that it would raise serotonin level, which is important for mood, digestive function, sexual function, mental activity, sleep. So, you know, it has a, a, a different set of uh, benefits. My advice, as always, as in integrated medicine, is continue to do what you do uh, for the cardiovascular side of things, your you know, strength building and weight bearing type of exercises. But add in Tai Chi, maybe a simple form, like you know, just learn two or three movements. Um, do it with deep breathing, mental concentration as a type of moving meditation, and that will provide you with an extra set of benefits. A lot of people believe that mind-body exercises could, ri- uh, could elevate your vital energy. But what do you mean by vital energy? We could show that after 20 minutes of Tai Chi, you could measurably increase the emission of heat, light, and electricity from your body in a way that physical exercises do not. Um, how do you interpret that uh, is a kind of a you know, uh, difficult thing.